A summit between North Korea and Russia is looking likely as a heavily armored train carrying Kim Jong un crossed into Russian territory earlier on this Tuesday. Our defense correspondent, Cho Min Jong, who has been following this particular story, joins me live on the line. Min Jong, what is the latest thus far? Well, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un seems to be moving north after arriving in Hassan, Russia, located on the border of the two countries. According to Russian state-owned news agency RIA Novosti, Kim's train uh, crossed into Russia's far eastern Primorsky region and is heading north. This follows reports in Japanese media outlets that Kim's train had arrived at Hassan Station this morning and was welcomed with a ceremony. South Korea's defense ministry also said Tuesday that it believes Kim entered Russia early this morning on his private train. The leader is reportedly being accompanied by his foreign minister, Choi Son Yi, as well as his top military officials. Kim's trip to Russia marks his first foreign trip since the COVID-19 pandemic, which forced North Korea to close its borders for more than three years. Right, for more than three years indeed, Min Jong. In the meantime, do we have any idea, Min Jong, when this summit between Kim and Putin will take place? Right. Uh, this morning, the Kremlin announced that Kim and Putin will hold a summit in the Far East within the coming days. The summit is widely anticipated to take place on either September 12th or 13th, possibly in Vladivostok. This is where the two leaders met for the first time more than four years ago, and it's also where the Russia-led Eastern Economic Forum, reportedly attended by Putin, is taking place until Wednesday. The Russian leader is also expected to host an official dinner for Kim, and now talks between the two leaders will likely be focused on bilateral ties as well as an arms deal. Considering that a number of military personnel are on the trip, including the regime's two top military officials, Li byung and Park jong tan Seoul's defense ministry said it is closely watching whether the two countries will negotiate arms trade and technology transfer. The U.S. on Monday also threatened to aggressively enforce existing sanctions and add new ones if the regime decides to provide weapons to Russia. This is all I have for now, but I'll be back with updates on our next newscast. Back to you, Sunny. Right, Min Jong, thank you for that coverage and do keep us posted.